It would be funny if it weren't true. Abi Ahmed's weekly vent session. Hello, my fellow Ethiopians, haters, and losers. Welcome to my weekly venting session. It's called It Would Be Funny If It Weren't True. Abi Ahmed's weekly vent session. Stay tuned. Just so you know, I haven't done any interviews with local or foreign journalists in the past six years. They tend to ask such silly questions, right? Fake news. I much prefer giving speeches. Today I talk about things I believe are super important for all 120 million Ethiopians. There are things about me that people don't understand, yet they continue to talk negatively. This is my chance to set the record straight and defend myself. Join me weekly as we address these pers persistent haters who just won't stop talking about me. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm completely baffled why Ethiopians picked on my personally hand-picked ministers. I hand-selected them with such care, you know. It's all about loyalty. Take Brehanu, for instance, master of budgeting. He's managed to make 99% disappear without a single completed project. He wrote amazing feel-good book. And okay, his doctorate questionable like mine. So what? Get over it. And then there's Ambassador Suleiman Dedefo. Oops, accidentally sharing his naughty browsing habits on Twitter. Classic case of multitasking, right? Clearly, he's got a soft spot for black housewives. But hey, cut my minister some slack, will ya? The national level road length is increased from 37,000, 2003 to 100,000. 2011-12. Road density increased from 33.65 km per thousand in 2002-03 to 90.9 km per thousand in 2011-12. As a result, the average... Oh, and my other hand-picked guy, the IGAD executive secretary. What's the deal if he's caught indulging in some light reading? What's wrong with you folks? Oromigna is his first language, not English. Give him some slack. Ah, our beloved mayor, appointed solely because of her ethnicity to govern a city of seven million people. She wasn't born and raised in Addis, lacks the educational background, zero experience, and doesn't align with the values of a big metropolitan area like Addis, the fourth diplomatic city in the world. But hey, loyalty is all that matters, right? Adanek attended a big international meeting before a large crowd. Poor thing, just trying to read from paper. But the organizer called her out. He was so mean to her, caught her off guard. But she did it. I am amazed. Before I reflect uh, on the question, let, let me mention one, one issue that makes me... Mayor, let's, let's concentrate on the questions. Let's just have a heart-to-heart -heart okay. discussion. Let's not reference, in, reference the notes at this point. Let's just speak from the heart and deal with the questions. Okay. Uh, concerning uh, balancing between uh, the interest of the city resident and collecting tax, we have uh, a forum with our people, with our residents. This genesis of Agenda 2063. And my godfather, Abadullah, in the hot seat in Egypt, I feel for him really hoping he inspired millions, or at least a good luck. Unfair things, you don't hear any third, third party, you can come together as a brothers, you can discuss, please. This is not, this is not. You can agree on the good side for both. That came from the trust. I wanted to tell you one thing.
Oh, come on now, can we please lay off the teasing about my English and my ministers, or even the whole party, OPP. Our IQ is below 69, borderline retardation. Or maybe we just didn't follow the conventional school system to earn our PhDs. Speaking of which, my godfather, Abadullah, the senior leader of the Oromo People's Democratic Organization, got caught with a fake degree back in 2015. As for me, I managed to snag my PhD without even finishing elementary school. It just happened, you know. Got to love how things work out. Oh, please, spare us the comparisons to those old Amhara senior officials from the 60s. Seriously, just listen to them babble and then hear us articulating and speaking. Africa is not for sale. We are independent from sovereign states. Africans are jealous of their independence and sovereignty, no matter how wealthy. Parmi les plus avancés au point de vue social, a déclaré du haut de cette tribune to raise and administer a family, let alone administer a country of 50 million people should be asked to march in and assume state responsibility is beyond me to comprehend. And I ask for divine intervention. That the main responsibility for enabling the people of Southern Rhodesia to exercise their right to self-determination and independence is one that falls on the United Kingdom as the administering power. Riding as to justify a big power to take unilateral action that violates the sovereignty and the right of self-determination of nations, and hence also of the United Nations Charter. My government... <laughs> Toutes les sociétés comme les nôtres ont des problèmes, euh, des problèmes qui, qui se dérivent de, de la vie moderne. And that the principles of uh, the OEU Charter uh, must be also respected, which deals with the sanctity. Uh, oh. Otherwise, continuing the same argument when there is no indication. Oh, by the way, I got invited to this event in Kenya, sort of like the MIT of Kenya, you know? Spoke to the students there. Hopefully didn't leave them scratching their heads too much. I mean, I hope they caught my drift, even if my vocabulary was a bit off. It might be totally unexpected from someone with a PhD in a country where English education is pushed all the way to grad school. But hey, whatever, I'm sure they got my point. Now, Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, who is on an official state visit in Kenya today, visited students attending a mentorship program at State House Nairobi, where he filled it. For example, go back to school again. What did you choose to do about your friends? You guys are lucky. If existing leaders have a big heart to invest on the next generation, on emerging, Africa will continue. The problem we have in Africa is all existing leaders, they don't appreciate those who are exiting. That means history. They don't all also want to invest on emerging like you guys, then Mr. X starts something. When Mr. Y comes, he forgot that and he started all. Whatever you do, do your best. Whatever you become, yeah, make the best out of it. Huh? Hey, remember that Ethiopian guy? I mean, let's be real. I'm way better than him anyway, right? Sorry. Dark this way. No clocks. Did the gate come down? The yeah, calm down, go. Since I took office, there's been a significant rise in English speakers in Ethiopia. My confidence has really inspired many Ethiopians to give it a shot. The public often says things in English, whether it makes sense or not. 
check out the videos. You'll appreciate it one day. Cat! Go! Window! Go! Cabin! Basket! Boring! Cat! Generalized Anjaitar Disorder. <laughs> English. Where you come from, Gibbs? Yep. Are you come from Egypt? Yeah. Also, your husband lives in Egypt. Oh. No. My love body again. How many times this come to me and we have taken. Kilometer? The Makina? Sent a meter. The Yagadigans. The Yagadigan. The Eger Amus kilometer? Ah, the Makina sent kilometer. Bagi dah mis kilometer lima kena, anda kilometer no. Kau yang sebenarnya baru ikut jumlah bayar.